school has been a part of many families since 1909 when the school was founded. So uh, we have completed now 111 years. Having a school to me is uh, it's a wonderful blessing to have a have a thriving and growing school. It's a great privilege to be the pastor here to serve with Sister Carol as our principal and we're blessed with an abundance of religious in the parish and in the school that I think sets us apart even in some ways from a lot of other faith-based schools. I think there's a perception sometimes that Catholic education is just for Catholic families or for Catholic kids or this and that. Um, while most of our families are Catholic, uh, it's really a means of evangelization to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. And that's why he's such an important part of our everyday. Even if our parents aren't sure what they're looking for, they know they want a strong moral compass for their child. They know they want that and they want them to learn the prayers. It's a huge blessing and it's a huge commission given to us by parents to help in the formation of their children, both academically and spiritually. Bringing them to a Catholic school, as Father clearly said, is um, is bringing them to learn the heart of Christ uh, through their classmates, through their teachers, and through the entire schedule. Our children uh, attend Mass once as a level, uh, with their grade level groups, and once as a uh, an all-school Mass. So we have two times a week that our students attend. At the prayers that our little guys even know. It's, it's incredible how much our teachers in this community at St. Joseph, our teachers are so faith-filled and faithful that it just is really awesome. And in our Catholic schools, as Father clearly said as well, you need to have that healthy balance of the spiritual and the intellectual. We, we strive and are quite successful, I believe, as Father has yeah. also noted, with the dedication of everyone who is here. This environment here is, it's hard to really put your arms around it until you're a part of it, I think. It truly is everyone who's here at St. Joseph is all in. The school is over 100 years old, there are family names that are consistent with that heritage, with that loyalty to continuing to do their part when they can during their years. But it's a huge blessing and it's a huge commission given to us by parents to help in the formation of their children, both academically and spiritually. And when a parent, parents collectively feel that they want to quote, be involved in the school for the good of the children, that agenda cannot be topped because they will work as hard as they can for the good of the integrity and the culture and the climate of the school. We're blessed with a, uh, with a very stable faculty. Uh, we have some new people coming on board this year, but they very much will complement the existing, uh, just highly seasoned and wonderfully Christ-centered faculty that we have. You know, when there are transitions in lives, but as people come in, we very much take into mind in interviewing and stuff like that, how they're gonna uh, gel with our culture and how they're gonna blend with our other teachers and, and, and bring new things while respecting the traditions of the school the same. constantly push forward, of course, the foundations of math and science and English and composition, uh, literature, history, all those kinds of things are the foundations of a good classical education. But at the same time, you need to be innovating as well in things that are more current, like robotics and coding and the kinds of experiments we're going to be able to do to a higher level in our new wet lab. The way that we do the robotics, the kids are in teams and they learn to work together on a team and how to come up with uh, solutions to problems that they're given and to figure out how to present themselves verbally and also through what they execute themselves. 
times I think there's a perception that the Catholic schools lag behind a bit a public school because of a lack of resources or this or that. That may be the case in some schools, I don't know, but it's certainly not the case here. Uh, we're completing upgrading all of our classrooms with, uh, with Clever Touch boards this summer before the kids get back. Uh, we did the Makerspace Lab, which is huge in terms of robotics, coding, all the Chromebooks, the iPads, all those things are here. The balance between uh, technology and yet at the same time still learning handwriting, cursive. We equip our teachers and our students with their tool, what I like to call a tool belt. And then at every grade level, they keep adding on to that skill. It's like building a house or whatever. You could have tools that are primitive. Uh, you're not gonna get too far. It's gonna take you a little bit longer. You could have tools that are sharper. And so we try to give our, our children, our students, uh, those sharper tools. And we equip the teachers with a laptop so that all of those clever touch boards and those tech tubs that are in the classroom uh, and all of the um, virtual reality glasses and the types of things that are 21st century tools are also incorporating 21st century skills so that when our students leave our doors and go on to the next level, that's the greatest testimony. They are prepared and oftentimes the high schools will come back and compliment us because of our students being prepared. There's a perception too that financially oftentimes Catholic education is out of reach for people who don't think they could pay, ever pay full price, but there's all sorts of uh, uh, opportunities through the Archdiocese and through the parish. If you want to be here and you crave a solid academic, academic excellence and strong Christ-centered faith identity with a strong moral compass, um, that if you want to be here at St. Joe's um, and you desire to be here for all those aspects, um, we want you here and we'll make it happen.